My name is Lamont Ratchford, uh, founder of Higher Definition Radio. Uh, doing this month, we want to take time to spotlight local businesses and private citizens who are doing great things in the community. Our goal for Higher Definition is to make sure that our community is well represented with positive and enlightening information. Uh, during this pandemic, it has been tough on a lot of people, and we want to make sure that we are representing our community well. My name is Marlon Davis. I'm originally from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, if you don't know about The Rock, don't come to The Rock. Five years old, I recall being going to Flint Hill Baptist Church. Uh, first solo was uh, One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus. I remember getting up, being so nervous, my heart was about to beat out my chest. Grandma in the audience, I sang the first note, Grandma like, sang it, fool! And then I knew when people were moving, they were getting happy about it, and I knew I was making others feel well. I knew that was my calling that young. So from then on, I stayed in church, uh, gospel choir, your Boy Scouts, everything, you name it, um, and really got interested in music as I started uh, getting through school as far as junior high going into high school. Uh, in Phase was formed with uh, Melvin Baxter. He was the original um, member. I had uh, kind of started hanging out at Winthrop. I noticed I didn't say go to school at Winthrop. I was hanging out at Winthrop uh, on campus and uh, Melvin them kind of saw me up there. They heard I could sing. I was doing local talent shows and things like that. And um, they kind of approached me and he said he had the name of a group he wanted to start called In Phase. Melvin at the time was taking an electronics class at uh, York Tech. And he told us that In Phase means in sync, um, in tune. And um, he was like, you know, we want you in the group. We need you in the group. And we formed the group. So we would travel everywhere we could to sing, uh, whether it was Atlanta, D.C. One time we even stayed in an abandoned house. Um, we, we were so hungry to make it and uh, ended up kind of running into some people up in D.C. who uh, managed Riddick Bow, uh, sang some uh, Star Spangled Banners on a couple of HBO specials and then hooked up with Madonna and um, got a record deal. Uh, my first single, which was Spend the Night, uh, which nobody's really crazy about this guy right now, but it was written by R. Kelly. We actually worked with him um, in Chicago at his studio, which uh, later became a dungeon for other women. I didn't know at the time. <laughs> my uh, pastor asked me to start filming services. I, I really didn't think any uh, more about it. He had me go out and purchase um, camcorder. So I started filming the services, got excited. Um, after I edited, put my kind of first story together, and I was like, okay, I kind of enjoy doing this. And what I noticed about it is, you know, anything that's a passion, just like my music, which I still do as well, it was almost, it wasn't enough time in the world to do so. And that's how I knew that was a passion versus a job. Uh, a lot of people don't know, I used to work uh, for the Sheriff's Department. Um, I actually worked in the detention center, um, taking care of inmates at York County Sheriff's Department. Um, learned a lot there as far as my communication skills. That job taught me how to communicate with people because when I was in that job, I, I felt as though I could have been one decision being away from being in a position that that other person was in. So I didn't look down on them. I still treated them with respect. And so they treated me with respect. But just learning a lot from that job, a lot of people didn't know that I was, you know, was into law enforcement. My wife's name is Marquisa Davis. Uh, we've been married going on eight years now. Uh, we have seven children, um, huge family, a blended family. Um, we did a show on blended families uh, with that and, um, you know, life, a lot of life lessons learned with that. Um, I can say now that the commitment that we have to each other, we definitely wouldn't change that. Um, was it a smooth road blending families? No. Um, I'm very transparent about that, but in the end, it's definitely worth the effort. Um, I have a very dedicated wife, very supportive wife who I appreciate so much. Um, anything that I do as far as career wise, whether it be my music, whether it's production, whether it's video production, anything like that. She's always there supporting me. Even on days where I'm like, you know, I, I'm not feeling this, I don't feel like doing it. She's still there saying, you know, this is something you stated you wanted to do. So continue to keep that passion, continue to move forward. But um, it's good to have that support system like my wife in order to push me forward on days that I don't feel like doing that. Um, I guess my favorite quote I used a lot in the sprint days because I, I was in the sailor industry for a long time even before I got into my current industry with uh, AAA Carolinas, but uh, failure is not an option. Um, I would tell my team this all the time. Um, I would actually even apply it to life as well. Um, of course, there are going to be times that you want to give up. There are going to be times that you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. There are going to be times where things aren't moving like they should. 
Um, but will you fail sometimes? Yes, but it's what you do after you fail. And, and that's why we, I would always say to my team, there are gonna be months where you don't hit your goals. There are gonna be months where you don't meet things you wanna meet. But take that as a lesson. Don't look at it as failure because that's not an option. Because what we don't do in the Davis family is give up.